PhotoCamp is an experience. From the time you arrive, you will be on the go, experiencing and learning new techniques with your camera. Experiencing camp life at Rock Springs Range. Breakfast! And there's not a dull moment. And that's just what Pansy Fryman and Pat McNally had in mind when they started Kansas 4-H Photo Adventure Camp 12 years ago. The initial mission given to us was to develop something for uh, 4-H'ers who were too old to attend their county's camp uh, and maybe Discovery Days wasn't their cup of tea. Um, so we developed camp at Rock Springs but for older kids and the only thing we do at photo camp that other camp groups do is swim. Photo Adventure Camp is an intense photography experience for teens ages 13 to 16. Workshops vary every year, but always include activities about lighting, motion, special effects, and water. When you're going to this particular camp, you're learning things that you've never learned before. You're learning how to hold, if you've never had a chance to learn the technique to hold your camera properly, you're learning that. You're learning uh, how to get subjects to pay attention to you, make sure that they don't look away if you're looking for people or animal shots. You're looking um, at the different techniques that professionals use. You're, you're learning things that you've never learned before. With streams and springs crisscrossing the property, Rock Springs provides a multitude of backdrops, including the water wheel, canoe pond, horse barn, and old time schoolhouse, all surrounded by prairie grass, trees, flowers, and even wildlife. All the instructors, we have different times for them to teach. Um, we might be doing motion, we might be doing darkroom, we might be doing creative stuff. If we have a, an instructor that brings all those things and also close-ups, then you get a different flavor from each one of these people coming in. Campers have access to the expertise of photography leaders with many years of experience, as well as professionals working in the field. Kodak Ambassador Bud Prince of Geneseo, New York has attended PhotoCamp for several years and provides expert instruction while having fun. Field trips? Yes. We made names with stones one year at K-State on the parking lot. Photography expeditions to nearby locations are highlights of every camp. In the past, campers have traveled to Milford Nature Center, Abilene's Old Town, Art Galleries, Kansas State University, and many privately owned gardens and sites. She likes it. She wants to go back, first of all, and then it just happened that through the course of doing these photo outings and things like that, she has taught me things about Death of Field and the Golden Circle, things I didn't realize she was even paying attention to at our club meetings. And she real, you know, I said, where'd you learn that? She said, oh, photo camp. You know, that's all we do at photo camp. Camp life at Rock Springs is an experience in itself. Campers stay in the hilltop cabin area, surrounded by prairie grasses on one side and the woods on the other. Sometimes they're joined by camp creatures wanting in on the fun. Adult and youth campers came running to me, informing me that there was a snake in their cabin. So I, in my role as fearless leader, I went into the cabin used a tripod, got the snake into a wastebasket, picked up the garbage bag with snake, and left the cabin, and didn't make it across the road to turn the poor thing loose until more shrieks erupted because they'd also found a nest of mice in their cabin. I offered to put the snake back to take care of the mice, but they didn't want me to.